Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, approximately 11.30 in Honolulu, 5.30 in New York. Markets have closed for the weekend. We have seen the Dow Jones Industrial Average really attempt to climb for a couple of days, really selling off on these last two days ever since the Fed announcement came out that there is no interest rate hikes that will happen uh, this month. However, they did say that the possibility or the likelihood is still very good that we will see some sort of a rate hike this month year when we take a look at what that's done to our equities markets we can see that it has in fact put it under pressure over the last couple of days most interesting we'll start with our daily chart on this and when we look at it through the eyes of a daily chart there's no doubt we hit these lows this dow jones industrial again uh 15,400 takes it up to these highs at around a 16,000 700 or 800 i believe and then you've got this star this would be uh yesterday's trading activity once the announcement came out of course it was up about 300 points closed down about 63 points and then a significant drop today again double digits pattern traders who've been with us for a while recognize this pattern very very easily and that is a three river evening star when we take a look at the weekly market, and that's where it really starts to get interesting because I have been attempting to see if there is any kind of correlation between this particular candle type, which is a pattern in and of itself, which is a hammer. We get a hammer here. We get a hammer here. You can see that here and also here. So we have a multitude of occasions in which the market corrected and the correction terminated with this candle type so traders the question that i've been asking over these last couple of weeks four weeks to be exact since we hit this low right in here this being a weekly chart was whether or not this particular candle type and pattern formation in other words a corrective action in the market followed by a hammer would result in the possibility that we were looking at some kind of bottom in the market now we genuinely noticed something that was extremely different following the formation of this candle type roughly one month ago and that was the following week meaning this long red candle really negated this type of a pattern because every single instance prior to this as the market would come down it would form a hammer you had a recovery on the following week we certainly didn't see that now we did see an attempted recovery the very next week meaning last week but traders look at the market today and this week what we are seeing really is a inverted hammer after a protracted uptrend you would call this a shooting star if it would happen up at the top of market in other words after a, a sizable rally and you get this candle type it's called a shooting star if you find it after the market has been coming down it's called an inverted hammer so what we're seeing in the marketplace is an extremely dynamic range but we're also seeing the fact that this market has not been really able to determine direction long term it's been range bound but range bound with extreme highs as well as extreme lows. Now, when we carry this over, of course, into the standard and pours, as we just looked at and talked about, there's no doubt we see this three river evening star formed after the market has been pretty much in an uptrend. Now, here's the other thing that we've been talking about. The other big characteristic of this market is the compression or the uh, contracting of range, I should say, we can characterize the pattern that we're seeing in terms of Western analytical patterns as an ascending bottom and a flat top. Typically, as the market reaches the apex, you get a break and the theory holds that there is a release of energy and that release of energy gives you a pretty sizable move in the marketplace. And I had thought that we would probably see this market break to the upside. However, with the most recent activity, I'm not so sure about that anymore. We definitely still have our flat top, no doubt. We also have this ascending set of lows here, and we also see that the low is actually broken below that particular price point. So according to that theory, if we do get a release of energy, we're going to see some fireworks in the marketplace next week. And at this point, we could see them easily to the downside based upon this break 
based upon the fact that the pattern we're looking at in this particular instance on a daily chart is a three river evening star. Without a question of a doubt, we're in for some interesting action next week. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you, as always, good trading. We'll talk to you on Monday for another Trending Markets. Bye-bye.